This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. So we're just leaving LA. We're on our way to the airport to go to Philly. I'm Amber Rose. I'm here to help my friend Tina. We grew up in South Philly together and she's addicted to heroin and crack. I am a model, I'm a philanthropist, I'm an actress, and I'm an entrepreneur. But fame, money, none of that matters when someone's addicted to drugs. I can buy a rehab center for Tina, but she has to want to go. I don't think I could fix people, and that's why I wanted to reach out to Intervention. I really don't know how I feel right now. Like, I'm excited to go and hope for the best, but I don't know. I just hope she says yes to going away and getting help. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Tina is missing somewhere in Kensington, and I know that she moves around a lot, so I'm going to hire a private investigator to find her. Kensington is the jungle. There's a lot of guns, violence, and there's a lot of drugs. I can't believe my friend is out there right now. I was very young, and I used to tell Tina, I'm moving to Hollywood, I'm gonna be famous. And she was like, well, I'm gonna have babies. Ultimately, she wanted to be a mom. I used to tell Tina, like, Teen, let's go, let's get out of here. All my friends were on drugs. Tina was not on drugs at the time. Growing up, I was surrounded by heroin and crack. Not from my mother, but within my immediate family. I just didn't want to do it. I saw what it did to people. I chose to look at that and take a different route. I got on the train one day to New York, probably 19 years old. Found a little apartment, started dancing out there, and I just, I just knew that I didn't want to be here anymore. Then she had Latina, her daughter. I said, okay, you got your baby. Let's get the hell up out of here. And she just wanted different. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Amber. What's going on? Well, I found Tina. Oh, wow, okay. Where, yeah. is, she, where is she? Uh, so she's living at a house. Uh, I confirmed that she is there with her boyfriend. OK. There's no way we can get to her there. No, definitely not. I definitely don't want anybody to put themselves or her in jeopardy. Is it possible for me to get her like a place to stay? Or like maybe I can rent something? I think for safety reasons, that would be the best thing. OK, OK, let me uh, let me start working on that, and then um, I guess I'll call you back. Okay. I'll keep you Sounds posted. Thank you so much, Kevin. So hopefully they find her and then bring her to the Airbnb so we can go through with this intervention. That's the most important thing. Hi, babe, how are you? How you doing? It's been so long. It was amazing seeing Lanaya. She's grown so much. She's so beautiful and smart. Oh, my god. Hi, babe. Hey. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. How are you? How's everybody Good. doing? How are you? I'm Michael, by the way. Hi. Nice to meet you, Michael. A little stressed, a little nervous. Yeah. Why? Um, I don't think, like, anybody has gotten my mom to like, you know, stop doing what she's doing. And I want her to be able to do it just because she wants to do it. But what is the biggest thing that you think is blocking her from another chance at life? I think it's she doesn't have the mindset that she wants to get clean, that she wants to live a good life, so she's not going to do that. Because she doesn't. I can't. That's why I said I didn't want to talk about this. I know it hurts, but the more information that I have, the better I'm going to be able to help her. Before your mom got on drugs, I was there, and she loved you guys so much. She put you guys to bed every night. She fed you guys. It's not, this is not your mom. It's the drugs. Y'all got to know that, and that's why we're doing this. Having family members that are on drugs, sometimes you really do become numb to it, and uh, you can still tell that Lanaya really loves her mom. And she doesn't have a significant other during all of this. Her boyfriend is a good person. He doesn't, you know, beat on her or 
make her give him her money or anything. Them being young girls, because he's not beating her, because she's not giving him the money, they think that that's a good person. So this morning I was told that Tina's boyfriend, he wants a pretty face to smoke crack with. And that's the honest to God truth. He feeds her drugs, he makes a lot of money, and he doesn't let her out of his sight. Well, wait, wait, what I hear you saying right now is he's a sugar daddy. Yes. And just because he's not beating her doesn't mean that, you know, he, he, he doesn't need to be around her. You know, the, the severity of this intervention is huge. Today is the intervention. I'm excited. My mom's finally going to hear everything we had to say. And we know that everybody's here for her. And we're here for you, too. Thank you. We have essentially a gift for you. We want you to go to California, too, and go somewhere to deal with the trauma that you've been through. I think it's a great idea. And we can, we can leave today. We want to help you. It's set up perfectly. It has nothing to do with anything other than dealing with trauma and getting past all this stuff. I would take it, girl. Thank you. Yes? Yes. Yes! <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. Now let's get your mom and your sister on the same page too, right? Yeah. That's, that's the goal. Tina, are you going to go with me to get my hair cut? Tina? Hi, babe. Oh, my god. <laughs> How are you? Hug me, babe. <laughs> it's OK, babe. I just didn't there want you to see me like this. I know it's OK. I love you. I was too much. <laughs> I miss you so much. I want my sister back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, though. Me, too. This is my friend, Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm really grateful that you're, you're even willing to talk. And, like, I mean, I do. I want to get clean. You know what else? She's also going. It's my baby. And she's getting some help today, too. I love you, too. And all you have to do is say yes. I have to leave, like, right now, though? Yes. I want to call my boyfriend, like, what's going on and stuff. We can do all of that in the car? Are you saying yes? I mean, of course I'm going to take the opportunity. I don't I don't have insurance to do you anything. Don't, hey, you don't need to worry about any of that. Your whole life is changing today. Say hello. Nye. So you're going to go? Yeah, I'm going to go. But I got to go right now. I know. Are you crying? No. Lanaya, we're also offering you help for your trauma, the stuff that's been going on with your family. I can't go. Nine, listen to me, right? No, no, no. You, you listen to me, Mom. You're trying to separate us. Put us on a no. plane and separate us. No, we're not. No, that's not what we're doing. Not, babe. No. She's scared because okay. of everything that they've been through. Come over. I need to pee really big. I need you to be a big girl, Lanaya. No one's trying to separate you guys. We would never do that. I think you need to go get Tina. I'm serious, babe. It's detrimental. You know what that means? Can we get Amber up here? Yeah. We need Amber. She said yes, that she wanted to go, but she said she had to go pee. And I knew what it was. She started texting her boyfriend. And I got to be honest with you, I literally hate his guts. Talk to me. How do we make this work? Uh, uh, like, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like the way things went down. I just don't like it. I'm a grown ass woman. I make my own decisions. What the if my, my daughter dies while I'm out there? I did it with my mother, Amber. I lost my mother and I was arguing. Your kids said, are going to lose Tell you. There's really no reason for this, Tina. In the process of her coming outside and walking down the street, she was in communications with her boyfriend. She wanted him to come get her. Where is the car? I don't like being alive to. Tina! Where are you at? Where? Because I'm under the L. I, please, I want to get the out of here before I can go ballistic. Tina, can we stop this? Where's the car? I really hope that my mom takes this as something good and not anything 
that I did to harm her. She's gonna die. She's going to die, bro. Her boyfriend showed up. She got in the car, and so did Lunaya. Before I came here, I was like always miserable and angry. And like now, I am happy. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> how are you, babe? Oak Forest is helping me figure myself out. I'm learning how to accept people being there and not pushing people away. How's everything been? It's been good. Like, I've been in like a more positive mindset. It feels good to have like people you could like rely on. Latina's doing really well. This girl, when she got here, extremely resistant. And today, she loves being supported by this community, and she's putting in the work. I'm happy to see you smiling. She absolutely wanted a different life. She knew that there was something wrong. She knew that that's not where she was supposed to be. And then she's out here, she's happy. She doesn't want to go back to Philly. She doesn't want that life anymore. It's a beautiful thing. I'm happy I did it. Me too. Thank you yeah. for believing in me. I love you so much.